Hi Scorpio. Happy August. I hope you are doing well. Oh, I'm so excited to deliver this. I just did Taurus reading. It is phenomenal. You've got to check it out because your houses look at each other and I have a feeling it's the other half of this coin. Okay. Now this can be on a business front. It can be on a relationship front. It can be anything that you have been Oh God, again with the songs, that song again, and it was from one of the readings yesterday from my best friend's wedding. What is it? Hoping and hoping and wanting and I have no idea. There you go. You'll know the song I'm talking about. Um, here's the story. Taurus reading, and I'm going to mention this to you. It was out of the park phenomenal. It was karma clearing, dharma dropping right in their lap and it was divinely guided it's on a success front it's on a career front it's on a what fills and inflames me from it's it's on anything whatever you've been longing for is coming straight for you i want to say this where you are anchored you have one karmic card in here so i want to i'll bring up something and it's where you're anchored too so it's been something that has been in your life for a bit right but it'll be cleared it's also sitting in your foundation and it's looking right at the knight of swords so it's it's about to be to be let go so so don't worry about that this is true love true passion true desire it, it's it's truth it's truth at its core and that's what sets us free right go with me on that we come in with the energy of um I'm so excited I could barely form a sentence here. We come in with the hermit and the magician. Time. This is just time. And it is time. Okay? And what does Saturn do? He's time. Right? You've paid your dues. And underneath it is the six of cups. Another six. Karma cards. Sixes are karma cards. This is relationships. Um... It's peace, it's joy, it's contentment, it's old time, all the baggage from the crap, all childhood crap, lineage kind of stuff is gone. Stuff that we, here we go. Yep, absolutely, it's clearing out. That's the hierophant. It's done. It's like paid in full. And now you've got the magician. Clear sailing to make whatever it is that you want of your life here. I'm just going to say, be very careful what you wish for. Because I think you, when it drops into our lap, it's got to be critiqued a little bit. It's not always exactly what we plan for. We have to invest in it. We have to put time in it. And that goes for, you know, anything that we want. It doesn't mean it's going to come packaged perfectly in a bow. If it's a career, if it's a relationship, it's, it's your divine counterpart in something. But it's going to take time. And it's in the good times. And it's in the bad times. So I hear that very, very loud and clear. So I just want to, and there's nothing wrong with this. I'm just making you aware of this. Okay. There you go. Now you come in with the seven of wands, which is fire, passion, desire, destiny. It's, it's, it's your creative fire is, is just lit right now. Okay. It's something worth fighting for. It's your heart's desire. And it shows up via the king of coins. Passion, money, finance, security, uh, stability, health, value, a whole person. Okay, that's what we want. Whole people, supporting whole people, right? In your past, what's coming in here is the emperor. And he is one of the cards that showed up crowning the Taurus reading. And it's washing into your reading. Okay. Stability, security. He didn't just get there though. Okay. But it's kind of like a mentoring energy is, is literally, it's a very protected, it's a very protected. And you've got the higher fent here too, which is a protecting, uh, it's a protection card too. Hallelujah. Okay. Now you're crowned with the strength card. Hard work discipline, putting an effort into it, right? Doing the right thing. Prudence, fortitude, uh, 
no shortcuts, putting it all in, all in, okay? Now where you're, you're anchored here is the six of swords, okay? Sixes, and you've got two of them. You need to talk to each other. You need to open your mouth on things, okay? These two sixes are the karma that's clearing out for you, okay? In relationships, I need to speak up. I need to be present. I need to say how I feel. I need to walk my walk and talk my talk. I need to be in it 100 plus percent, right? My thoughts, mind, body, soul is in here. These are karma cards and they're clearing out for you so that you can do this. This is unfinished business. When these show up, it's what we're here to do, right? And now this is all coming front and center for you. These eclipses are huge, okay? And like I told Taurus, let this ride to the end of the year. You will see this for sure. I know some of my... Um, Scorpio clients are in the middle of things that is clearing for this. You know who you are Okay, now coming up. You've got the page of coins. See what I'm saying You come in they look at each other on my screen, so I'll I'll shift them for you It takes a minute to get here. You don't get here Automatically from here. This needs to grow into something solid. Okay, so cut yourself some slack. Realize, though, that the emperor isn't an emperor if he doesn't have his kingdom, meaning your counterpart, whatever it is, your business alliances, your new partner, okay? You don't get here without first being here, okay? Woo! Okay, now you are the knight of swords. That's clear cut. You know exactly what you're doing and you're going to clear this out. You're taking responsibility here. You're coming in. The thing about the, I want to say this, and I know you guys are like this, the major, a heavy Scorpio will not want to make waves at all. But this is saying here, you need to speak up. You need to speak up with people. You need to be very clear about what you're saying because the karma of this card is exactly this. It's you need to be, you need to show up, say what you need to say, not try, the, the, the Knight of Swords sometimes what he'll do, the archetype of that is, is I don't want to hurt someone's feelings so I'll say nothing. You know what I mean? So it's more kind of the Libra deal to keep the peace, but in turn, it turns into something that gets out of control. So clearly you might not have done that in the past. We've learned here and now we'll open our mouths. We'll speak our truth. We'll get our mind in the right spot. We'll keep it in the right spot, right? Okay. Now in your environment, you've got the Knight of Wands. Creative passion, fire, desire. Um, he is the spark that lights this, that gets this show on the road. I mean, holy cow. Could you really ask for more in here? Please embrace this. For the love of God, embrace this. Okay. That's why I'm saying just go slow. Speak up, know what you want, say what you want, don't play games, right? This is this is the real deal here, okay? In your hopes and your fears, you've got the Ten of Cups. No matter what goes on here, you will feel this. This is tangible. It's happy. It's healthy. I'm successful. I'm content. I'm fulfilled. I have joy. I found my passion. I'm with my significant other. Whatever it is to you, right? The outbound card which is the general overview of this, right, is the Four of Cups. When the music changes, so does the dance. Please, again, for the love of God, embrace this. This is the outbound card. It's change. It's contemplation. It's, it's don't overthink this to think, oh, my God, I met this person. They don't like me. I can tell by the look in their eye. This isn't going to go how I want. I don't have the skill set. This won't work out. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Th these alignments are perfect for you. You come in with the king. I'm telling you, no matter what presents itself, you've got resilience here. 
And again, your message coming in, and that's why I pushed that so hard, was you're going to need to adapt. Nothing comes in picture perfect. You're going to have to go with the ebbs and the flows and, and feel as you go. But I'm telling you, this is solid. Okay? So this would not be sitting here if you weren't clearing this out. I'm telling you. And he's looking right at it. If you don't have deja vu over this, I'm telling you, you're clearing this out. You're going to be extremely successful. You will have love in your life. Be it a person, a job, a career, your heart, you, your mind, body, soul, you will be content. You will feel fulfilled. You will feel wanted. You will feel needed. You will feel purposeful. Okay? It's all important because we don't want this stuff. We want to feel like that. And you will. Okay, so if this is a relationship that comes in and it's not a hundred plus percent, work it, work it through, let the kinks go through, hold the space for each other, right? Anything new takes time, anything, career, whatever it is here, but the, you, your, your hopes and your fears are the 10 of cups. Okay. So this is what you're wanting. It's that feeling of what you're wanting. Okay. But these are the trials and errors. They're still a four. It's still on solid ground, right? But you've got to bump it to the five, which goes through the crap storm to get to the six, right? And then you get to the seven. It's a little bit rocky. You need to take the spiritual high road. Hey, it's not just about me. It's about we. And then you get to the 10 eventually. But it goes through a lot of fours. Life goes through a lot of fours. But I'm telling you, what you're walking into is solid. It's absolutely solid. So there you go. I hope you have a phenomenal August. Watch that reading. This will play out by the end of the month. This is really huge. We've got one more eclipse coming up next week, I think, or the week after. These energies take, honestly, guys, they take up to a year. This is aligning for you. Don't put a timeline on this. I'm telling you it's coming or I wouldn't be getting it. And I'm getting it for collective energy. I'm not getting it for one person here, one person there. This is collective energy. Your dreams are here. Don't doubt them. Okay? There you go. Happy August. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do anything for you. Okay? Thank you so much.